Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm personally doing, I'm doing great. Today is episode 199. We are one episode away from 200 episodes in the series. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I've got a great episode planned for you guys today. We're going to be working over here in the farm area a little bit. We're going to be doing some transitioning stuff, trying to get that mastered and just some other cool stuff. So, question of the day for today is, what was the very first Let's Play you ever watched for Minecraft on YouTube? Let me know down in the comment section below, I'd really like to know. Mine was X Plays Minecraft, and he had probably 80 episodes out, and I think I probably watched them all in like a day. Eh, probably two days actually, but I watched a lot of Minecraft like that day when I found the game. I'm trying to remember how I found it, I think I found it due to a Machinima video. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I think so. I think it was a Machinima video. I was trying to think. But uh, anyways, I found it and then I watched his entire series because it was more of like a tutorial of his video on Machinima. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this series, obviously make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out. I just realized we don't have our war resource back on because I keep switching versions. Let's switch to that real fast. So today, what are we doing? First thing we're going to be doing today is working on this farm some. So right now we have got this thing set up for sugarcane. Well, I was thinking one uh, very, very good addition to this would be to make it um, make it for pumpkin and melons. So we're going to take what we already have for an existing layout here and we're going to switch it over to dirt. Now, I'm not sure if I have a lot of dirt over here. Let me jumping like a boss. By the way, we're not in the mushroom biome today. We're just kind of taking a break from that. We don't want to do too much of one thing at one time. So we have lots of dirt. Take that. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch these over. So I am going to keep the water just because for future use, we might need it. So we'll probably go here just like so. And then we'll probably um, see because we're going to need two for each one. So we'll probably do two, skip a block, do two, skip a block, something like that. It's probably going to be the best way to do it, because if you think about it, they're going to need one block to grow, one block to land, and then they're going to need water. Like I said, I really want to keep the water in here. There we go. I'm thinking something like that, probably. How far do we want to take it over, though? Because I think I, I think I actually just want to go over to the wall here. So this, um, okay, here, let's go ahead and knock all this out of here real fast. Having Depth Strider is like the best thing ever, by the way. There we go. So that's take care of all that. Let me pick up all my sand. And let's see if it lines up correctly or not. So every two. There. There. A little bit more to go. And I think we're just going to stop this farm at this point. That actually works out pretty well. So we'll do it just like that. How many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that <laughs> that kind of worked out perfectly. So we're going to do four of these for pumpkin and four of these for melon. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead and time lapse this. Let's see. I'm trying to think about what kind of time lapse I want to do. I might do a uh, third person time lapse where I just make the game into a LAN. Uh, we'll need cheats on for the other for the other accounts. Start LAN world. So we'll do that. I'll get my other accounts on here and we'll start playing.
Okay, guys, we just got finished with the time lapse. I went and got a bunch of seeds together. Uh, the melon ones were kind of hard to get my hands on, but I had some melon. I just had to bunch, basically grow a bunch. Once you grow a bunch of melon, it's really easy to get what you need. So I couldn't finish the whole thing because I ran out of dirt. So it makes me kind of sad, but um, I do want to finish the sugar cane as well. Oh, God. Do I have any? So I probably have some loose sugar cane in here. That's probably not going to be enough. There we go. So I got about halfway down before I ran out of dirt. I thought I was going to have more dirt than that, but I was definitely, definitely wrong. Um, so the sugar cane just goes down these ones. Hold on. I also need to, I almost need to go repair my tools in a minute too. I might actually do that between clips. Just run to the end real fast and repair my stuff. Because all my tools are getting pretty beat down. Okay. All right, there we go. So let's think about how we want to do this. I think we're going to do melon first. And what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to do melon on the outside and then pumpkin on the outside over there. So we want to go down this way here. I've never actually, I don't think you can enchant a hoe, can you? I've never done that before. Is that a thing? That would be kind of annoying. We should be getting towards the end, though. Wow, that is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So right there is just one row. That's a pretty big row. Let's try this. I don't know how easy this is going to be. I feel like I'm already missing some. Mm. They're really, really hard to see, so... <laughs> Especially when you're moving. Okay. Anyway, so, um, like I said, what I think we're going to do, I think we'll do the outside portion of them, like here. Dude, can you imagine once these are all fully grown, how much melon and pumpkin we'll get from this thing, especially once we get to the end of the line? My God. So something like that. And then I almost like, it would almost be kind of cool to rotate them like melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin. I might actually do that. But this is a lot of work. I didn't realize it was going to take this long to do this. I at least want to get this row in, uh, even though it's probably going to be exactly the same. <clears throat> but I need to get all this done. Um, I was thinking about ways we could possibly do to collect all this, but I don't really think that there's going to be any kind of system besides really just running down the line and collecting it. Same with the sugar cane. I would like to get uh, some carpet down the line if possible um that way we can at least walk on the water but i guess for the melons and stuff it would probably be a little bit easier to uh just do it this way all right anyways let's go ahead and finish this up there we go there we go so we're gonna do it just like that we'll do melon pumpkin melon pumpkin all the way over uh i'm gonna get that finished there was one thing else i wanted to check on real fast because um we're gonna be cleaning up over here very soon and this is going to be our farm storage right up here. That's what we're going to use for our farm. Um, but we had a thing down here. I kind of want to see what's down here real fast, though. Because they haven't been down here in quite a while. So there's potions. What's over here? Oh, wow. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Okay. And then we have, what, a tree farm in there? Here, villagers, too. There. This doesn't care anymore. Uh, or what I mean is that doesn't work anymore. We got a blacksmith in here. Okay. So I think what we're going to eventually do is just move all this out of the way. Because there really isn't any reason to have it here anymore. Uh, all this, all the reason why we had this was because villager zombies would spawn in here. But they don't spawn in here anymore. So that doesn't that doesn't make that cool. What should we do? With, should we just make this into a, like a grinder or something? I don't know. In the comment section below, let me know what you think I should do. Should I continue building this? I don't think I should. There really isn't a reason to. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. So as I was telling you guys the last couple of episodes, I want to start doing a bit more creative builds on this. And one of them is going to be the pathway. So the one thing that I've been thinking about a lot is how are we going to transition these pathways? Because we can't just keep the same blocks in the pathway. It wouldn't look right. So we got to figure out how we're going to do this. So we're going to work right here. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to make a pathway, which we're, we're decently good at now. We don't have to worry about that. But um, what we need to figure out is how we're going to transition it. So the first pathway is going to be from the grass over. And from there, we're going to use these blocks here. 
Okay. And then I was thinking probably course dirt. Now, what I'm thinking is, is that I kind of want to keep this, uh, not like that. Apparently I kind of want to keep this, this design a little bit more simple. So let's do course dirt. How does that look? Maybe it obviously needs to be a little bit wider. This is more of a test than anything. And then I think we'll have um, maybe like some design go through there. But now we need to transition. What I was thinking was it might not be that bad if we use grass over here. Like right here, then change it to this. That's all right looking. Um, let's try a couple more pieces here. Let's try something like that. Okay, so uh you 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 obviously not all of these are going to be what we want to do here so then you 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 something like that i think <clears throat> and then i was thinking sandstone that'll kind of give it a good i don't know, I don't know if we can <clears throat> that's it's not too bad see the problem is is that you can't really tell how would, um, how would course start look through there? Course starts a little bit too dark. Um, hmm. There needs to be some sort of colored block in there to transition that. It basically needs to take care of the course dirt. Let's run over here real fast. I'm trying to think about what I could fit in there. Something that might be a good block to go. Ooh, nailed it. So it might be a good block to go in there. Maybe yellow concrete powder might be a good one. Do we have any yellow flowers? I've already got sand on me, so I would just need gravel. Also need some yellow flowers. There's yellow. Do I not have any gravel? Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, oh, there's more yellow. Fantastic. Okay, so we have it. We definitely have a good amount of yellow gravel now or uh, yellow flower now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I have any gravel or not. I'm trying to think about where my gravel. There we go. So where my gravel would actually be at. Mm. Okay. Is there a crafting table? I'm going to grab the puzzle too. And can I get a crafting table, please? Oh, my ear itches. Okay, there's got to be a crafting table here somewhere. Or at least we can make one. <laughs> no crafting table whatsoever. Fantastic. <laughs> that is my luck, friends. Okay. Try again. So concrete powder is that. All right, so you, 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 you. And I forgot to do this. I'm hoping it's not too bright, though. Um. That. That looks really, really bright. Let's take a look at it on the ground here. I don't know, man. All right, well, we'll try it anyways because we made it, but I don't know if that's going to work. And I was trying to think of another block in my head, but I can't think of one. All the colors are changed now, so they're all much, much brighter. I was thinking maybe yellow clay or yellow hardened clay, like yellow terracotta. terracotta. This one's called now. Let's try over here. Hmm. All right, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the yellow might be a bit much. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, yes, that is way too much. Um, what about gravel? Gravel could be a good blender. It's okay. I don't know. I just can't think of another block that would fit in there. Okay. Um. Hmm. That's a toughie. So what I want you guys to do is down in the comment section below, let me know 
what you think a good yellow block would be to replace this gravel. It needs to kind of stand out a little bit. We could try Podzel. Let's go ahead and just do that, I guess, because we already have the Podzel pathway, which could look good. You know what, though? I kind of like it. It's not that bad. And then if we switch this over here, we we'll make that just a little bit better. That's not that hateful, actually. Now, what if we switched from Podzel from here to Podzel? Like something like that. So just ignore the complete dirt there. Let me know what you think about this pathway. I'm just trying to get these transitions from the different biomes correct, but man, that's hard. All right, guys, so we're up in the villager trading area. Um, I wanted to check and see if we had any villagers down there, but we're actually going to be naming another dog today. We have a couple more in the world, so if you guys would like to have your name uh, that you chose of whatever dog you want and the collar color, make sure you leave a comment and let me know down below. Today we're choosing someone named Adrian's comment, and Adrian said he wanted his dog named Trevor, and he wanted it to be an orange collar, which awful lot of GTA remembrance there. So let's run down to the storage room and get all of that situated. So we've already done one who's marshmallow right here so we're gonna be doing another one today very exciting so we should have uh hi 10 or 15 i think they're over here one of these i think hold on oh, i'm gonna put all this stuff up real fast all that way there we go okay cool now where are those name tags i should have a bunch of them it might be in another chest. I have probably 10, unless I move them somewhere. Where are you, name tag? There we go, there's one that'll work. All right, cool. So once again, thank you, Trevor. Or uh, thank you, uh, Adrian, for the comments. And we are going to name Yo Doggy. <laughs> Sorry about that. F or F11 is like destroyer of worlds, the first recording. It goes full screen and messes up the entire recording. There we go. So let's go name our doggy. Uh, we also need to get, um, let's see. We also need to get, uh, I can't talk. We need dyes. We need an orange dye. So red, and then we just put all those blocks over here. So yellow. Um, there we go. All right, cool. We got yellow now or we got orange. I mean, let's go breed our doggies. There. Oh, that's going to hurt. All right. So welcome to the world, Trevor. OK, and so collar orange. There we go. And I also want to feed Trevor. Eh, his tail looks okay. There we go. All right, buddy. So I just want to make sure that... Um, <clears throat> I just want to make sure that these guys are breeding. Although there was a villager down there, so I just want to make sure that we're good to go. Oh, yeah, they're breeding. Look at that. Okay, well, guys, next episode is going to be 200. Very excited. So I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I know I did. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is Hi Jevin. Peace out.